Well, as you can see, one of the problems we have in the industry, uh, not just the electrical, electrical industry, but the whole entire construction industry is tools, tool maintenance, what happens when they go wrong, and some of the little bits and pieces you can do to fix them along the way, say if you're going out spending another £300 on a drill, for instance. The cheaper version, the little white LT, LT, LXT version here, fixed this a while ago. These are about 100 quid throwaway drills, they say. I've actually had about four years now. Um, but it's not necessarily a grafter, you know, it's not really got the, the balls, the minerals, as they say. Uh, this one has, but she's sadly. on the way out right now uh, it's not really a she but yeah she's it's it's on its way out i believe the bushes at the back are gone or going or there's a problem with them or an issue with them slight slight smell leads me to that plus the, the fact that i've been here before with drills like i said they are quite expensive so it's not something you want to kind of uh you, you spend all this money on it and start performing like that you just throw it away and get another one when it's pretty much a, a cheap fix uh, to go and, uh, you know, cheap fix repair to go and do, and you can do it yourself. With it being reasonably cheap to fix, it's not something, um, it's just not economically viable to throw it away and buy another one. Uh, probably the part, I guess, it's been about four or five years since I last changed any kind of bushes or anything in, in one of these uh, drills. They're about five pounds for the bushes, maybe 10, 10 quid, something like that, but yeah i'm going to flip the back of this now show you what on earth it looks like I, I can't really see here at the moment but i can certainly smell it so some sometimes you can be led to led to believe that it's a trigger issue but that's rarely the case um i know it, it certainly looks like a trigger issue and pressing it the lights coming on but it's not actually spinning the motor or anything reverse any speed um so like I say, because the drill's dating back to 2014, all that doesn't necessarily say how long I've had it. That's how old the thing is. I've had it about five years. I've, um, it's, it's, it does do the hard work. It's drilled through many joists and stuff. It's, um, yeah, it's my go-to drill. I use it an awful lot. So, are well, you working again now, are you? What I'll do, I'll um, pick up a screwdriver. And we'll go ahead and take the, take the back off. Just see, maybe pick up the right screwdriver then. I I mean, I, I can smell burning, some form of burning anyway, so I'm not, I'm not necessarily surprised to see all kinds of loose contacts or anything in here or even a bit of melting going on. Now you can see the back, just two screws it was at the back. Um, there, you can shine the light on it. So there's two screws that go in there, one there, one there quick wiggle the back comes off and it's quite normal to see a load of crap and dust and anything you've been drilling in there uh yeah you can still press this just about i don't recommend it These things start flaying all over the place but i can see you can see that the bushes have melted uh, if you can see that on the camera uh, have I got a torch to show you? I should have a torch in here, shouldn't I? Should have at least one torch. Oh, can you even see there? That left one, it's not focusing, is it? That left one is melted slightly, so... Well, this is the back piece that I removed, and uh, like I was saying, you can just give that a bit of a... bit of a brush, bit of a sweep, just to uh, get rid of any any debris, any dust, any crap that shouldn't really be in there. I mean, all these drills are built for, you know, tough, hard-wearing use and designed to cope with a bit of dust, or even a lot of dust, as I've uh, come to notice. But the main thing we're looking at is these here. These are the bushes now. These are actually quite loose. and there's, There is some meat on the bushes. So that leads me to believe that they're not actually gone or going as such, but they're, they're, they've heated up to such a, an extent and they've put up with a bit of abuse that I've been giving them um, that, yeah, they, they've kind of... Let's see if I can pop one out for you here. So 
see how that one just slid out straight away um, and there is actually plenty of meat left on that um, I'm not quite sure have I even changed these I can't even remember if I've changed these or not now you can see that that copper cable there connecting the this little clamp here that clamps onto the side giving it a contact and a grip uh, that's the connection now you can see that has had some kind of heating up see it there it's changed colors it's even got <laughs> if you can see it's even got a blue piece there which has come off the actual drill so it's obviously been heating up to such an extent that it's just throw it away heating up to such an extent that it's um it's touched the back of the casing of the drill or somewhere maybe in here yeah there it is there it is now you can see it heated up there and it's kind of took a bit of the drill with it melted onto it and that's probably the, what i was smelling um i'm going to try and have a another go at getting the other one out now i managed to get the left brush out uh just off camera there and you can see it's pretty much pretty similar to the to the first one we pulled out uh there's signs of overheating and you can see you can see at the end there on the ribbon on the conductor where it's heated up to such a degree that it has actually melted and touched something on the back here or inside there and it's it's um it's took a piece with it again and also on the actual bit of carbon itself although, although there's a chip there which to be honest, I might have done with the screwdriver, maybe, possibly, um, trying to get it out of there. But also, you can see clear just that little bit there, where it's it's kind of um, I don't say welded or melted or something to the side, so that it's it's not been able to. These make the contact, you see, so they sit in there, these little holders, and they they they. they they kind of connect make the connection down there and they're spring loaded so they need to be able to move up and down and slide as the drill moves and kind of expands and goes in and out and stuff so that's that's my technical approach to it all anyway well that's <laughs> what happens is uh, as as they move up and down like that the spring keeps them permanently kind of pushed down and this is obviously heated up and it's been kind of wedged and jammed and just not been able to work as efficient as it should be i can show you the other side this one's pretty much a normal piece uh, of a, of a car uh, carbon brush. Well, both brushes are carbon. Both both are like similar in size, but the left one is definitely the worst. So, uh, what I'll do, well, like I say, we'll jump on Amazon or eBay or something. Usually, Amazon have them. Uh, go and order a set. They're about, I think, they're anything between about five and ten quid. A bit of delivery on there or something they usually come in the next couple of days uh get them ordered up get them um get all this cleaned out and um we'll come back once they've once they've been delivered and put them all back in a uh, quick search on amazon will bring up quite a few different types of brushes for various different things type in makita dhp 458 brushes in the search bar and you'll see that they'll fit various other different models as well these are the ones for us uh, the 440s, uh, there's the sizes to compare if you want to. Uh, came to about £6 plus some shipping, I think you know, it took about £8 in total. Only took a couple of days to, to, to arrive actually, even though it said it would take 10 days. And we had to wait two days, so that's pretty good. Shove those in your basket, get them sent hot to your house or wherever you live. Um, and wherever you're going to pick them up from. And yeah, the drill is only off the road for a short period of time. Oh, fresh back from Amazon, here's the... Um, the actual parts that we ordered and you can see already there's a slight different colour in them. If I bring, if I leave that there for a second, if I bring this old one up, this is the new one here, but if I bring the old ones up to it, you can see already there's a different in colour, there's a different in size. You see that? So, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, there's still plenty of meat on that one. Um, um, but yeah, you're never going to just change one brush. And then compared to the uh, the left one that we had, that had uh, melted and been causing all the problems, I guess. Um, yeah, it's just a completely different kettle of fish in it. So yeah, for the price they are, it's going to save you drill. We'll go ahead and get these get these installed now. I have to enlist the services of the Dennis Irwin Quick Grips again, just to hold the the drill down 
on the bench while I uh, get some form of position here because it's quite tricky to put them back in um, filming cameras and everything else so I mean normally you could just kind of put it between your legs shove it in a vice softly clamp it or something like that and shove them in um, putting them back in in itself is basically um, the reverse of the way we took them out except without you know taking them out I needed some form of crowbar to remove this left one so basically there's a little spring there you just hold that back with a little flat screwdriver I am all fingers and thumbs here at the moment but it takes literally minutes if if that probably seconds drop the little spring back on which just sits right there on top of the brush pushing the brush down and then you've got your little connector here which will clip on at the top make sure that clips right all the way up to the top away from any of the moving parts on the um, on the brush assembly there now that'll well, that's not going to flick off any time a nice and tight connection well, it's the same 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 procedure for the for the other side the right side there's both new brushes installed now I've cleaned it out give it a little bit of a, a clean off with the with the brush and stuff like that I'll put a bit of electrical contact to spray in there as well just for the sake of it while it's all exposed and off and empty uh, we'll screw the back on shove a battery in it and see if the thing works so that's the last screw in take the Dennis off don't need that I've got a battery hopefully it's been uncharged while we're waiting for them to come fully charged yep there we go you see and let's see how she goes <laughs> wonderful uh, there is a bit of stuff leaking on the side of it because I did give it a bit of a spray bit of a lube, bit of a clean and stuff like that, part of service in it and I will give it a further cleaning with the brush and stuff like that but basically that's that's a pretty simple fix to a simple problem little video for you for this week guys see you next time thanks for watching